What up, all my H2 Minute peeps? Uh, this is Taiwan Hubbard with H2 Minutes, and we're going to do a research update. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a while, and uh, I think this is a pretty cool study. Um, it was published July 22nd, 2020. Uh, and one of the reasons why I think it's uh, interesting and cool and why I think it's a research update is that um, typically hydrogen studies um, are done uh, on disease models uh, or individuals with uh, health issues. Uh, but this uh, particular study uh, was done on actual healthy individuals. Uh, it is very rare to see that in hydrogen studies. And so um, we're going to do a research update on that uh, because it, I think it holds some interesting um, information within it. So firstly, uh, just going over the abstract really quick. Um, the title of this study is hydrogen rich water reduces inflammatory responses and prevents apoptosis of peripheral blood cells in healthy adults, a randomized double blind controlled trial, uh, which is great to see, um, uh, that they are, uh, elevating, uh, the actual uh, quality of the study. Um, so uh, in this actual uh, trial, um, they're actually looking at uh, healthy individuals in the age range of 20 to 59 years old, uh, and they consume 1.5 liters of hydrogen water per day uh, for four weeks. Uh, and uh, they're going to look at a few biomarkers, um, one uh, in particular of, of DNA damage, another one of uh, the actual antioxidant status. Um, they actually uh, call this within the study biological antioxidant potential. Uh, they're going to look at that within these healthy individuals. Um, they're also going to look at uh, um, some inflammatory cells um, or markers for those uh, to kind of give an idea about um, inflammation. And uh, those are going to be some of the most uh, important uh, biomarkers that, that you're going to look at within this uh, study. So one thing in particular they had these individuals drinking 1.5 liters of hydrogen water per day uh, at, at a hydrogen concentration of about 0 0.7 uh, to 0 0.76 um, milligrams per liter ppm. Uh, so you run the numbers on that. These individuals are consuming a little bit over one milligram of hydrogen per day um, over the course of this month uh, that they did this study. So um, we'll go ahead and look at some of the interesting highlights from it and uh, from the actual discussion of the study and then we'll go ahead and close it up. So first thing to know, after four weeks of consumption of hydrogen rich water, uh, these healthy individuals um, actually had an increase in their um, antioxidant capacity and a decrease in oxidative stress and DNA damage. Um, but something that was interesting uh, was that uh, also the placebo water also did as well. And, um, and it wasn't this gap the hydrogen had on, uh, or I would say this, uh, uh, the difference between those two uh, wasn't as significant as we would might think um, uh, with these healthy individuals drinking hydrogen rich water. Another thing that they noted that um, hydrogen, um, that they found out that the frequency of um, apoptotic cells uh, or cells that are dying um, uh, were significantly reduced in the hydrogen water group. And they uh, sub subsequently uh, found out also that after blood analysis, uh, the hydrogen water significantly reduced the circulation of, uh, of an inflammatory cell. And so uh, this um, looks at, looks like hydrogen was downregulating uh, the inflammatory response of these healthy individuals. Um, it says here, quoting it, it says, it greatly suppressed the expression of genes involving uh, NF kappa B signaling. As a result, the transcription level of pro inflammatory cytokines were significantly decreased. Another thing noted uh, within this particular study is that uh, the aging uh, is the aging process, uh, and that aging is characterized by. Um, uh, elevations of oxidative stress and a a uh, dysregulation in our antioxidant capacity of our bodies. Uh, these are hallmark um, uh, characteristics of aging. And so in particular, uh, they decided to look at um, how hydrogen water affected those individuals that were above the age of 30 versus the individuals that were under the age of 30. 
And this is uh, one of, I think, the major takeaways from uh, this particular article. Uh, and it says here that um, the younger group, younger than 30, showed no significant difference between H2 water and the placebo group. This finding imp- implies that H2 water could exert antioxidant capacity promoting benefits more in older adults than in younger. And so um, this is something that uh, I find really interesting uh, simply because uh, in articles we've seen this um, in some of these animal models that hydrogen seems to be able to differentiate in cellular scenarios by which where oxidative stress or inflammation or damage is done and it exerts its therapeutic effects. And in other cellular scenarios where it's closer to homeostasis, hydrogen um, seems to not exert uh, these effects more as as profound. And um, this seems to suggest that hydrogen uh, may have the ability to differentiate. Um, and the closer a person is to homeostasis, um, hydrogen will uh, not act as a a, a continual promoter, which this is great. This is actually something that's beneficial. Like some people might want to look at this study and say, oh, see, hydrogen water didn't do very much for these individuals that were in the age of 20 versus the ones who are in the age of 30. But uh, what I believe it points to is that hydrogen actually um, is not going to act as a continual promoter, which could end up damaging or hurting these individuals um, who are in the age of 20. If hydrogen went in and just continues to upregulate antioxidant system, they can run into issues of reductive stress, not just oxidative stress. So this was interesting that hydrogen seemed to promote the antioxidant capacity um, uh, even further or, even, or, 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 or more so in individuals above 30 than those who are actually um, in the age range of 20, uh, in the age range under 30. And so this is basically the major takeaway, uh, well, at least one of the major takeaways within this uh, particular research update video. Um, now, they also they also end up uh, demonstrating within the study that hydrogen water, surprisingly, um, that H2 group had a lower percentage of um, apoptotic uh, cells uh, after four weeks compared to uh, the placebo group. So um, this also points to... Uh, the this also points to I'll just read the quote. It says this suggests that hydrogen water consumption is effective in preventing severe cellular damage. So this is pointing to the fact that hydrogen water uh, may have a very uh, a promising um, preventative effect uh, on the human body in these healthy individuals, not just individuals who um, have health issues. Um, it goes on uh, to say here that. Uh, Hydrogen water alleviated oxidative stress uh, and decreasing cell damage, which in turn uh, decreased the frequency of circulating monocytes or because it decreased cell damage, uh, this led to a decrease in an inflammatory response or these monocytes responding to uh, damp signals, um, damage cells. Uh, And so um, that's something else that's interesting. They end up noting that hydrogen was able to downregulate NF kappa B, uh, which is a transcription factor um, that's used uh, highly in our in, uh, inflammatory system, uh, and uh, it can be very problematic outside of its homeostatic ranges or how it's supposed to be done. And hydrogen was able to regulate that and downregulate it uh, within these healthy individuals who were. Uh, you know, exhibiting, um, you know, oxidative stress over the, over this month. So, um, pretty much in conclusion, they state this, uh, they state that, um, in conclusion, this work presents to our knowledge, the first double blind placebo control comprehensive study investigating the effects of H2 water in healthy individuals, 1.5 liters of H2 water intake for four weeks reduced cell death and inflammatory responses by modulating transcription networks of NF kappa B signaling. In addition, it may promote biological antioxidant capacity for adults older than 30, more than those who are younger. So I think that this is a really cool research update. Um, I believe this study uh, uh, is a 
good study for us to be able to start to look at how hydrogen water might affect um, the healthy population as well as uh, what we've been seeing in some of the preliminary data with uh, in individuals who have certain diseases. And so um, this is the research update. We'll be back with another one. Um, there's plenty of studies that keep coming out. So I have uh, plenty of studies to pull from uh, for these updates. But uh, I think this one was a good one, uh, uh, a good one to go ahead and share with you guys. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Um, you can always find the sources in the description. Um, and if you want to support H2 Minutes, uh, you can go ahead and do so through our Patreon. Um, that will also be in the description. And, and then, uh, yeah, so that's it. Deuces.